vs. Superman is getting closer and closer to coming out to movie theaters. And over the years, there's been a lot of Batman movies released in movie theaters, but one in particular I don't think a lot of people saw in movie theaters. And that is Batman Mask of the Phantasm. And I was lucky enough to see it on the big screen, and I love it. It's probably my favorite Batman movie of all time. Which is kind of strange, because to me, it's more realistic than the ones with the real people in it. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, you can have your Ben Affleck's, your Christian Bale's, your Michael Keaton's, but no one, no one is as good as Kevin Conroy as Batman. Yep, that's right. He is the king of all that is Batman. And, you know, over the years, there's been a lot of figures made of him, and right now, DC Collectibles is making some uh, figures based on the Batman animated series, both the first series and the uh, when it got revamped into the new animation. And they are awesome. Now, if you'd have asked me a long time ago, hey, what would be your dream figures that they could make for DC Collectibles, you know, animated series figures, one of which would have been what we're talking about today, and I can't believe they actually made it. Now, the figure in particular that I'm talking about is the Phantasm, and the Phantasm is an awesome character. It was the main real, I wouldn't say villain in the movie, but it was kind of a uh, reoccurring, you know, thorn in his side throughout the whole movie. Now, the uh, figure was spoiled because it was made by uh, Kenner and the packaging. They totally spoiled who was underneath the Phantasm's costume. And I'll probably do the same thing. So if you haven't seen Batman Mask of the Phantasm, you know, I don't know why you haven't. Came out in 1993. Jace, you should catch up. But anyways, if you haven't seen it, don't watch this review because I'll probably talk about who was underneath the costume. And uh, because there is something I would like to say about the uh, figure that DC Collectibles made. Um... But, yeah, like I said, if you've seen the Kenner figure, you already know who's under there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's kind of sucky, too, because if you'd have seen the figure before you saw the movie, you'd have been going, hmm, okay, I guess that's who's under the costume. Why not go see the movie? Oh, I know who's under that costume. Yeah, I've known for a long time. Why are they just revealing it at the end? Thanks, Kenner. Yeah, that's what it would have been like, but thankfully I didn't know, and I was surprised when I saw the movie. And, uh, you know what? It was really good. Now, DC Collectibles, like I said, has made a lot of figures from the animated, the Batman animated series so far. And so far I have a few of them. I have six of them, and they look a little something like this. Now, I obviously like to live dangerously, because as you can see, I'm not using their stands. And as you can also see, they all have tiny little feet, like the polar bear in the Richard Pryor joke. And you know what? These things do not stand up very well at all. But they are very cool, and if they fall over, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyways, here are the six that I have. Now, I've reviewed the Joker, and I reviewed, I believe it was, the Two-Face and the Batman, but I haven't reviewed any of the others. Uh, I meant to, but I got impatient and I just opened the packagings because I just couldn't wait to play with them. But anyways, these are amazing, like I said. Um, out of all the figures that they've made, there's a bunch that I still want to get. Namely, the Scarecrow. I definitely want that one. I would love to have the Killer Croc with the uh, baby doll because I think the baby doll is really cute. And uh, Man Bat, of course. And there's just tons. Harley Quinn, you name it. Poison Ivy, all of them. I'd love to have them all. And they just seem to be making more and more. And well, one of my dream figures, like I said, was the Phantasm. And I never would have thought they would have made him. And they did. And today's review will be on that. Today's review will be on the DC Collectibles. Batman, the animated movie, Mask of the Phantasm. Now, although they're usually sold as single figures, this one is sold in a two-pack, and check that out. It is awesome. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first found out that the Phantasm would be sold in a two-pack, I was a little disappointed, especially when I found out it was coming with a Batman figure, because I already had a Batman figure. But it didn't dawn on me that in Mask of the Phantasm, Batman is wearing his traditional first series outfit, and the figure that I had was the, uh, you know, the new Adventures Batman you know, costume. So that's cool. I didn't even think about that. And I think it is truly, truly awesome to get a Mask of the Phantasm Batman figure. You know, that's screen accurate. That is really, really cool. And you just cannot beat that Phantasm figure in there. Now, through the window, you can see the two figures. And you can also see one of the accessories, which is a Batarang. And behind them, you can see the stands hidden very, very carefully. But, uh, yeah, there's not much on the front of the package. It's mainly black with white and a little bit of gray. But on the side of the package, you see this really awesome Phantasm head with the Batman, you know, silhouette there. 
and the logo, and that is very cool indeed. And apparently it's number 22, which would make Two-Face very jealous. He probably had dibs on that number. But, yeah, this looks awesome. So let's look at the back of the package, shall we? Now, the back of the package is a little boring because it just has the same picture, but a little bit different, like a negative version of that. And it looks awesome anyways. No blurbs, no anything, no photos of the other figures, just a little bit of barcode and this little bit of information there. But that's all, so let's look at the front one more time, shall we? I guess before we do, we should look at the other side, where it's got Batman and Phantasm's names right there on the plastic, and it says it's sculpted by Irene Matar. I guess that's how you say it, or Matar. I don't know how you say it. Irene, how do you say your name? But anyways, there's the side of the package. Now, ever since they showed off prototypes for these figures, I have wanted that Phantasm since day one, and I just finally broke down and bought it. It became available through Big Bad Toy Store, and I was like, okay, fine, I'm going to order it. So I ordered it, and here it is, and I cannot wait to open it, so I say we open it! Now, sliding the figures out of the box and leaving them in their tray, they're on a little paper cardboard back thing that looks a little something like this, and I thought that was really cool, too. So, you know, it's the same picture over and over and over again, but it still looks pretty cool. I just thought it was a black background. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, let's see what the trays look like, shall we? Now, the top tray just has Batman, his Batarang, and the Phantasm all bratted into it, and they look Awesome! Now, underneath them, there's another tray, a smaller tray, that has their stands, and two extra hands for both Batman and the Phantasm, and that's all you get. There is a little car uh, paper inserts underneath the, uh, the uh, stands, but, uh, you know, that just shows off the other figures. So at least you get to find out what other figures are in the line. So I say we open these guys up and stand them up. What do you say? Starting with the Batman figure, I have to say I am very, very happy with him. He looks very, very cartoon accurate. I love it. The only thing that would have made him more cartoon accurate is if he had the little blue highlights in his uh, costume. Because, you know, in the cartoon he had the little light blue highlights all through his costume. Like the light reflecting off of it. But you know what? That's a minor, minor gripe. This one looks awesome. Now, I don't have the original version of this figure. Uh, but from what I've heard, the only thing that they changed was the fact that this one has his mouth open with his teeth showing or whatever. And uh, the original one just has his mouth closed. Now, I really love the idea of the fact that this is a Mask of the Phantasm Batman. And I would much rather have this one than the original release. That is totally cool. Now, the original version looks a little something like this. And as you can see, they didn't change any of the paint job or anything like that. The only other difference that I've noticed is that uh, this one over here came with more accessories. Now, the one that came with the Mask of the Phantasm did come with the Batarang and did come with those top two hands, but didn't come with those little opened, more grippy hands or the ones with the little uh, uh, gun there in his hands. And you know what? That's okay by me because at least you got the Batarang because that's pretty cool. This one also came with a little, you know, the little stand or whatever, and it actually does say Mask of the Phantasm there over the Batman logo. So that is pretty cool indeed. Now, I really thought the original one came with two capes because the Batman that I had came with two different capes. But that's okay, because this is pretty cool. I love how they painted the inside of it. That is very neat. So let's turn him around and see how he looks from behind, shall we? Check that out. He looks pretty cool to me. They did such a great job at, you know, making these figures look the way they did. I mean, because that looks pretty screen accurate to me. And the other thing, too, is these really do harken back to the old Kenner figures. I mean, when we had the Kenner figures, this is what we felt like we had. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, let's move on to the Phantasm, shall we? Now, I'm definitely not going to lie. This figure makes me very, very happy. This is awesome. I have wanted a good Phantasm figure for years, and I finally have one. This one looks so screen accurate, it's not even funny. I love it. Um, seriously, this just looks so cool. I think the only thing that could have made it cooler is if that uh, little wrist blade thing would have been like silver or something, or some sort of reflective, you know, metal, metallic looking. But who cares? Because I love it. This looks so good. It's got that cool Casey Jones mask. Got that cool cloak. Looks like he's from Scream. This is so cool, and he looks so neat. Now, one of the things, too, is that his cloak is really, really rubbery. So, uh, yeah, it can, it's, I don't know, it's very soft, and that's pretty neat. Um, down here, you'll see his little turnaround thing. Very cool. And speaking of turnaround, let's turn him around, shall we? Maybe you'll be able to see his uh, 
cloak flopping there. Nope, didn't move very much. Yeah, that looks very cool indeed. I love the sculpting there on the back. That is awesome. And in case you wonder what their sizes are like together, check that out. The Phantasm is just a little bit shorter than Batman. And I guess that should be about appropriate now, shouldn't it? So, here we go with a super duper close up look and check out that bat symbol. It is sculpted, not just painted on, and that looks amazing. You know, they could have just, you know, tampoed that on, and I still would have loved it, but this just looks so cool and adds so much depth. Now, working our way up to his face here, you can see his mouth with his teeth showing. Very cool indeed. Uh, from what I heard, too, the shape of his nose is a little different on this figure as opposed to the original one, too. So, I don't know about that. I mean, I think they said it, one of them's pointier than the other or something like that. But, yeah, look at that. That looks like it stepped right out of the cartoon, and that is awesome. Very cool, indeed. This is one awesome-looking figure. Working our way down his arm. Look, he's got those little shark fin things on the back of his arms, and that's cool. He's got his closed hands right there. He's got his uh, utility belt. Very cool, indeed. Yeah, I think they did an awesome job with this, and I absolutely love it. And what's funny is, you know, when this first got announced, like I said, I didn't really care to have another Batman figure. But who knew? Who knew that I would like this so much? Because, like I said, it's a, you know, Mask of the Phantasm Batman, and that makes me happy. And speaking of the Phantasm, working our way up to the face, check this out. Oh, I love it. If I had a mask like that, I'd never take it off. I love that mask. I would love to have that. So if anybody has one that doesn't want it, give it to me, please. I'll take it. But seriously, this looks amazing. This figure turned out way better than I thought it would. Um, yeah, I love it. Working our way down the sleeve, you can see the tattered part of the cloak. Very cool indeed. Now, in the making of, they said that they based this a lot on the Ghost of Christmas uh, present or whatever it is, a ghost. No, Christmas future. I'm sorry, not present. Uh, but yeah, that's it's very evident, especially when you know it looks like the angel of death showing up, and that's what the ghost of Christmas future looked like. And that is very cool. There's the blade thing looking very neat indeed. Yeah, I love this figure. Looks so good. Now, underneath the Batman's little stand there, there was this little cardboard, or uh, cardboard, this little paper insert here, and uh, it's got these pictures here. It's got both versions, the animated series and the new adventures pictures. And if you flip it over, you'll see some more of the figures in the line, including a truly awesome Batmobile. And that is awesome. That is on my wish list, and I hope I can get it soon. That is so cool. Then the two figures we just reviewed today... Working our way down here. Check this out. Look at that. It's got a Commissioner Gordon, a Ra's al Ghul, a, a Zantana. you got to talk backwards for her, don't you? Uh, you got the demon. Oh, that's so cool. Didn't uh, Billy Zane do the voice of the demon or something? I don't know. I can't remember. And then Harley Quinn. Who's that? Firefly. Oh, that's awesome. And then we have, what is that? Anti-fire suit Batman and Clayface. I didn't even know a Clayface was coming out. So that is so cool. Now, underneath the Phantasm's little stand was this little paper thing all folded up, and it talk that's really cool, the little drawings there, that's very neat, it shows how the hands can pop off, and how they pop back on on both the figures, and how to build the stands, and that is very neat. I, that's a neat little, uh, neat little way to do that, they could have just cheaped out with, you know, simple drawings. These are awesome. Now, these figures turned out even better than I hoped they would, and they look awesome together. But if you have the Joker, well, you can have the climactic ending of the movie, and that is cool. And since the Joker's design I don't think was any different than this figure, I think he fits in perfectly, so that's pretty cool. Now, that said, I hope DC Collectibles actually makes a Mask of the Phantasm Joker, uh, you know, either in the jet pack or whatever. I mean, seriously, come with that little robot that was always, you know, looked like a housewife or something. That would be kind of cute. But anyways, yeah, I hope they do make more from Mask of the Phantasm because there's other figures they could make, and this is awesome. Now, if I had one complaint about this new DC Collectibles Phantasm figure, I really wish it would have included what the old Kenner figure included. I know it's not possible because the Kenner figure cheated a little bit, but yeah, I really wish it would have came with that. So if you don't want spoilers on who's under this mask, don't watch this part. You were warned. Now, the figure came with this right here. In the package... The cloak was off, and the blade was off. Oh, yeah, he's got that gas gun, too. Maybe it should have came with that. But anyways, um, yeah, that's the way it was in the package. Well, if you don't want to know who's under there, I guess you don't buy the figure. But, yep, 
it was Andrea, his Bruce Wayne's girlfriend the entire time, and that is cool. Now, I really, really wish that DC Collectibles had come up with a way to uh, incorporate either her head into the design, or at least snap it off and pop it on. Now, you can't really go with that, because... In the movie, the Phantasm had a very manly physique, as you can tell here based on this figure. Uh, now, you know, like I said, Kenner cheated by having the, uh, the female body underneath their figure with the cloak covering up all the, you know, female parts, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, I guess they, they couldn't really have done that. Uh, because when she whipped off the mask, the whole cloak came off and her body shape just changed entirely. But I do hope DC Collectibles makes an Andrea figure because I would love to have either her in this outfit, you know, towards the end where she got the uh, blade burned off of her hand with acid from the Joker or whatever. Seriously, that would be awesome. So DC Collectibles, please make that. Please, please, please. That would be awesome. So, there's my review of the DC Collectibles Batman, the Mask of the Phantasm, two-pack with Batman and the Phantasm, and this is awesome. Like I said, this is a figure that I've wanted for a long, long, long time. And you know what? I really love the Batman figure that came with it. I, it's so awesome to actually get a, like I said, a Batman Mask of the Phantasm, uh, you know, screen-accurate Batman, and that is cool. And I do hope they do make an Andrea figure later. Uh, that would be awesome. Please, 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 DC Collectibles, do that. Uh, and definitely make a Joker, you know. <laughs> it would be cool to have the Joker with his tooth punched out there at the end. I don't know. I just think that would be very neat. Because seriously, there's no better Joker than Mark Hamill, is there? So I hope you liked this review. I hope I didn't blow the movie. But jeez, like I said, the movie came out in 93. Where have you been? But I hope you liked it, and hopefully I'll get more. Because man, that clay face looks cool, and I just found out it came out. So, until next time, tune in for more. Foo! Reviews! <laughs> come on, Felsbug! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, let's go walking. Oh, crap. Uh, just walk away, Felsbug. Just walk away.